Hi guys. It's midnight. You'll probably hear the clock click in a minute. Um. Well, payday. <laughs> um. Didn't get a lot from the. Uh, there we go. From the uh, junk shop, I got another PlayStation One game, a snooker game, and couple of PlayStation 2 controllers. One of them is broken, but for 50p each, I'm not going to complain because I've got one for spare parts. Um, did get a Lego set as well. I always like to try and get at least one Lego set when I get paid. So, I've got this one. Little beastie truck. Uh, what else have I done today? Saw mum this afternoon what she'd done at work. Apart from that, I've just been sitting up here. I've made three videos for the Lego channel. Um, tried to upload one and it told me this is a duplicate upload. No, it fucking well isn't. Um, I'm actually going to try it again. Where's me doodah? There's me bookmark. Uh, I'm going to rename it and see if it helps. I'm just going to rename it Bogies, just something completely random. So I might see it as a duplicate if the um, title is too similar to a video I've already got up. So we'll try this. This isn't going to work first time. Ah. Not unless I accidentally tried to upload the wrong video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ever has occurred. Yeah, you do that every time, first time. Then I try it again and it works. Usually. Boing. There we go. It's relatively short videos for my Lego. I don't know why I can't do short videos for the main channel. I may actually get a few more subscribers if I shorten my videos, but I try. But the problem is this doesn't stop. <laughs> anyway, what have we got in the news? Well, I was quoted in a newspaper article in the EDP because it's true. I can't believe they actually used that quote, to be honest, but... <laughs> um, it's the Queen's birthday celebration soon. I can't remember what date exactly, but... Uh, the seaside town of Sheringham, about 20 minutes drive from here, is holding a street party, and they wanted to close... two roads down. Um, but it looks like they can only close one because permission was um, refused for one road. Get this because one person complained. Now I actually didn't think that was enough to um, affect any planning but apparently in this case it is. And it was a last minute decision as well apparently so Unfortunately, they can only use the one road. Only the one road can be closed. Um, but I think it's extremely sad that someone would do this. I know not everybody is going to be, you know... Not everybody agrees that we should have a Queen or the Royal Family because they don't really do much apart from represent the country. Um... You know, the government does the donkey work at Renanda Country. Badly, but they do. Um, but the fact is... It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing, almost. You know, it's the her 90th birthday. She's been our Queen since 1956, if memory serves correctly. That's a hell of a long time. So, um, 
it's something to do as well, isn't it? You know, the kids have something to do that go out and enjoy themselves. Adults can go out and enjoy themselves. It's just a bit of fun, and you get some fucking miserable bastard that has to complain about it. Why do people have to do that? I always thought I could be an asshole for complaining about some of the things I've complained about. Like that young lad that was uh, skidding around on the car parks at half past six in the bloody morning. <clears throat> Which he stopped now. I've actually seen him. I don't think he's actually a bad lad, but, you know, I didn't want to complain to piss anyone off. I just wanted them to ask him to knock it off. <laughs> That's all. You know, I don't want to get. I didn't want to get him into trouble either. But uh, yeah, it's stopped now, so all's good. But uh, you know, you're spoiling the fun of probably hundreds of people by complaining. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> the newspaper quoted me because I said you'll always get one miserable whinge bag, which is true. That's the politest way I could put it. Maybe if I used a few uh, swear words, they wouldn't have quoted it. <laughs> Or they'd have, uh, you know, censored out the expletives. But uh, as it was on my local radio, I think. Yeah, I'm sure that was on North Norfolk Radio. They put an article up about it and I put it on there and I thought I'd better put it politely. That's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> but... Uh, I do like that radio station. I'd like to stay on their good side, so. <laughs> but it is true, it doesn't matter what is done, someone's going to find something to moan about. I mean, look at that hand car wash up the road here. Just because of two people repeatedly filing complaints. And in my opinion, when I read them, they're not even legit complaints, but... Then I got to close. The council have sided with these two people and they're going to close it. And I think it's a racist thing, personally, because they're Polish that run the car wash. And of everyone I've seen that use it, they have nothing but praise to say for that car wash. It's a hand car wash. They do a good job. Probably do a better job than the one up at the garden centre on the other side of town. That Polish as well. <laughs> Probably the same lot of people, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if they're the same lot of people. And Actually, to be honest, I've got Polish people living on my doorstep, near enough. There's a block of flats just over there. Um, and I've actually noticed, only because they've had the windows open because it's been warm, that they're Polish living up there. But I'm not like one of these people. They don't bother me. I've got better things to bloody worry about than who's living where and to be honest I think the media blows it out of proportion anyway you know just to stir the pot <laughs> I really do I don't think you know immigration is as bad as they're making it out to be I really don't think we've got as many foreigners living in certain areas of the country as they're making out to be and if they are, they're probably not as bad as they're making out to be. I really do think it's just the media sticking a big wooden spoon in their cauldron and stirring it as much as they can. I was like, call me sceptical, but I, I am. I freely admit I'm a very sceptical person. You can't trust any media these days. I remember that. Doobie 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 doobie. <laughs> yeah. A picture of David Cameron here. You might just be able to see it. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Open my mouth and shite comes out. <laughs> Doesn't even have to do that and shite still comes out of it. I know what the government wanted to do for this country regarding benefits I should say you know to try and get the lazy bastards that claim 
either off it or up off their asses and do something, but the only problem is their math methods have sort of backfired and the innocent ones are also suffering. Again, this, this is really turning into a random video, isn't it? You know what I mean. I really, I don't think our government think things through before, you know, they initiate a plan. You know, it's sort of like signing up to a contract and not reading the fine print, which so many of us do. We sign up to websites, do we read the terms of service, do we bollocks, none of it, no one does. I don't, but then again, most of it is common sense anyway. You know, like website rules and whatnot, it's mostly the same throughout the website. <laughs> I've got to show you that. <laughs> doink, doink, doink. <laughs> I'm sorry, that has got to be shared. <laughs> that's, a, that's the funniest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> Fucking guinea pig bashing the other one in the head with a looks like a cucumber. <laughs> That's <was> brilliant. <laughs> I shared a riddle yesterday, but it really was uh, an easy one, we'll say, because the answer was just written straight under your nose, really, if you read it. You didn't have to work anything out. Right, so I'm just going to scroll down and see if I can find it. It shouldn't be too far down. I need a blockage in my sink. I didn't get any notifications from Facebook saying anyone had replied to it. There we go, riddle time. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jonah went for a picnic. Pardon me. The couple has five sons, and each son has seven daughters who has three babies each. In total, how many people went for the picnic? Easy. Two. Mr. and Mrs. Jonah. It says it right there. I think everyone that actually replied, um, yeah, they all said two, because... Pretty much is. <laughs> that is the answer. I'll reply. Ring the useless dicks. Yeah, the problem is in our tenancy agreement. If I think um, that girl there that told me to ring the useless dicks is um, in a victory housing flat as well, like me. Um, no, she moves. I think she's in a bungalow now. Because she's got a kid. Um, it's in our tenancy agreement that uh, we have to deal with blockages like that. They won't send someone out for a blockage. Unless it's the outside drain, of course, they will unblock that. But if it's inside, that's our problem. Um, but yeah... I couldn't get the friggin' U-bend off, because where they've put the pedestal in to make the um, sink all look nice, you can't really get behind there now with a pair of them pipe grip things to um, undo the water trap. So I couldn't actually get in there. It was completely blocked. Water wasn't draining at all. It wasn't even trickling. So uh, the other day, I did get a plunger for pound fifty and... Uh, Let's just say that sink got a good bloody plunger and then eventually it just went woof. <laughs> I think there's still some in there blocking it, but they're straining away fine now, so. That's four hours ago they replied. Well, two of them replied four hours ago and 
old Stevie Boy here replied an hour ago. I didn't get one notification up there. Thank you, Facebook. These, a lot of websites, there's always at least one thing that doesn't work properly. What do you want? You don't know, do you? It's nuzzling my arm. I might have to plug the camera in. Yeah. I'm just watching a thing where apparently some nuns are smoking weed. I did see a thing posted by a friend where he was having a little rant because uh, someone was forcing religion down his throat, as he put it. Now, I'm of the belief... Well, no, not the belief. I live by the motto, whatever floats your boat. It may not interest me, because apparently, that's the other thing, apparently there's a shop been opened up somewhere, I didn't read where, but uh, it's for adult babies. For adults that like dressing up as babies in, you know, the full-size adult diapers and everything and the the pacifiers and, you know, the hats and everything, the little booties. Seems weird to me. Not something I'd do, but, like I said, whatever floats your boat. It's not affecting me, it's not affecting my life. Why should anyone care? <laughs> the only time you really should care about something that is when it's affecting your life. So basically anything the government does. Because it will affect you, whatever they decide, whatever law they make, it will affect you in one way or another, so... But yeah, same with religion. But um, this guy's American and he's actually said, you know, he absolutely loves us British. Uh, and he said it's because every time he's been on holiday here, I can't believe he said holiday, not vacation. I thought holiday was a British term. <laughs> but yeah, he said every time he's been on holiday here, he said, us British have always been polite and well-mannered and whatnot. Uh, even Christians over here, they're more laid back. Every time I hear of Christianity in a bad light, it's always in America. Every time. Always in America where there's this nut job Christian preaching in the street. Or preaching hate in the street. None of them do it here. I've never heard of that happening here. Correct me if I'm wrong. If anyone knows otherwise, mention it in the comments. But um, to me, I've never seen anything like that. I've got Christians on my um, Facebook. I've got Mormons on there somewhere. There might even be a Muslim on there somewhere. I don't bloody know. don't care either. I've always judged a person by what they're like as a person. Not by their religious belief or their skin colour or their sexuality or whether they're a transgender or not or if they like dressing up in women's clothes just for the hell of it, you know, like a drag queen. I don't care. <laughs> as long as people leave me to my own devices at home, you know, leave them to their own devices and do what they like. Within reason, you know, you know, I wouldn't expect someone to go and kill people just because they want to do what they like. <laughs> so yeah, as long as it's legal, we'll say. Well, depending what it is. <laughs> I've seen police turn blind eyes to things as well. And I'm deadly serious at that one. There's one day the, um, what we call the Bacton car, which is Ministry of Defence Police that patrols around the village of Bacton where the um, gas terminal is, the natural gas terminal is. And they're armed. But uh, we were coming out of Sainsbury's fuel station Neither me nor mum had our seat belts on, but because it wasn't their jurisdiction and they didn't want to do anything, I watched them and they physically looked away from us. They'd noticed, but they'd looked away. It's like, oh, we can't, we're not seeing anything here. That's not our problem. <laughs> I've ridden on footpaths on my bike and that's technically illegal here. And the cops have just carried on. 
because most of them, you know, they would have probably said something if there's pedestrians about, but every time I ride on a footpath, it's clear I wouldn't do it otherwise. Um, but yeah, it's just too much bloody paperwork nowadays, isn't it? They're actually demolishing our police station and building a new one. I did wonder why at first, because we don't have jail cells here anymore. No custody suite. Used to. But when they rebuilt the station at Alsham, which is about 15 minutes from here, they put all the custody suite there. So it doesn't matter where you get arrested in North Norfolk, you'll go to Alsham. All the towns that had a small police station with a couple of cells don't have them anymore. I think they're just going to build like a station to be used as like a little office for the local bobbies. Somewhere they can go and sit and do some paperwork. Um, somewhere for the local detectives to sit and do what they've got to do. Their detective stuff. <laughs> somewhere to go have a cup of coffee and a sandwich, you know. <clears throat> so the horrible but ugly 1970s police station, and it was built in the 1970s, is now being flattened. And it's probably one of the few buildings that it hasn't bothered me because it is a but ugly friggin' building. They rebuilt it at Chroma as well. The only, oh, the other thing that does bug me about it is they've never got the money to put the extra police officers out on the street. But they can knock down and rebuild all these police stations. Someone said it's under a different budget, but I'm thinking, yeah, but someone has to um, divide the main budget up into the little budgets. So you would have thought they would have chucked some a bit more the other way when they sorted the budgets. Unless I am just being naive and I haven't got a bloody clue what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't know, but I can't... The budgets have to start somewhere. You know, I expect... I don't know, but the way I would think it would work... The police department gets one big budget... And they split it down into budgets, you know. So much for this, so much for that. Oh well, I'm going to shut the camera off I think, I think I've rattled on enough. Yay, the video uploaded that time. Maybe I did hit the wrong thingy. <laughs> Maybe I did try to upload yesterday's. My subscribers on my LEGO channel aren't going to know what hit them. Two videos in two days. Just got to delete those ones. I think that's what I did, the plum. On the plum. I hit the wrong one. Oh well. I'm going to sort that out. Get this video up. Sort that out. I've got two reviews to edit up. Now, do I edit those now or do I edit them? Oh, fuck it. I'll edit them when I go to put them up. I can't be asked to do it now. It's nearly half past twelve. It's getting late. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, didn't get bored stiff. And uh, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. No idea what I'm doing tomorrow yet. Um, but we'll see. Bye.